up and we are going to demonstrate how to install some class A 2100 degree chimney pipe for your wood burning stove. So first off here is your chimney pipe and you can see it's about an inch and a half thick, it's insulated and stainless steel on the inside galvanized on the outside it holds up to the weather really nice and it's rated at 2100 degrees your normal operating temperature for a wood burning stove is anywhere from six to eight hundred degrees so this is more than overkill for what you need but this is what's required anytime you go through wood frame construction um, in a ceiling or in a garage or a workshop um, you need this insulated 2100 degree chimney pipe and this is actually the metal fab brand here TGG 48 that's a four foot piece um, so that's your model number there metal fabs a good brand the first thing I want to show you is this uh, support box so you can see kind of the side view. You have the connector here for your single wall stove pipe on the bottom. So anything that's black is actually going to be exposed. And then this part that's just uh, bare metal, that will actually be nailed into the framing of your house. Um, all you have to do is cut a hole. It's 12 and a half inches by 12 and a half inches. It's got holes pre-drilled in it for you to nail or, or screw it. So you just cut a hole in your ceiling, trim it out with two by fours, and you start with this support box. So the support ceiling support box, it does just that. It actually supports the weight of the chimney pipe. This chimney pipe is pretty heavy. Um, so you're gonna wanna get this box nice and secured with all four sides nailed in to two by fours that are secure. So the difference here between chimney pipe, which is insulated, it's rated at 2100 degrees. The minimum clearance on this is one inch to combustibles. Now the difference with that and this, this is black stove pipe. So you've got your single wall black stove pipe and this is your triple insulated chimney pipe. So two different things. You know what, I've got some double wall pipe here. So let me just show you the difference here. So this is double wall, black pipe again, this is only for the inside. Um, you can see a little air space, uh, stainless steel on the inside, black metal painted on the outside. So that is double wall stovepipe, single wall stovepipe, okay, triple wall insulated chimney pipe. So chimney pipe is usually not painted, uh, black pipe is for your stove. So basically from the connector on the stove to your ceiling support box. So this box would be installed in your ceiling. Trim it out with two by fours. You can see the connection here. It's got these little tabs on it. And you line up those tabs right here and then there's a groove where it has a twist lock. If I can do this with one hand line them up, push it on there, and give it a twist. Um, it's really easy. So anyone can do it. Uh, basically you run your chimney pipe up through your attic and you cut the hole in the roof, come up through your roof. You've got your roof flashing here. That's the bottom there. You've got your roof flashing. The roof flashing is ventilated. And this is called a storm collar. You can see it has a little, uh, little bracket there. 
and this little piece will slide in there and that goes around the storm collar will go around your chimney pipe that's coming up through your roof flashing and then you just seal around that with some high temp uh, silicone um, yeah I'd like to do a video on the roof flashing but you could probably pull one up and and just watch that but the main thing with that is you want to get the top half of the flashing all the way all the way completely underneath the uh, shingles and the paper and just tar the heck out of it um, so once you get your pipe run up through your flashing you've got your stainless steel chimney spark arrester chimney cap and same thing it has the little tabs on it with the twist lock and you might want to just put a screw in it because it could uh, it could blow off and you wouldn't want to have to replace it so last thing I'm going to show you is how tall does your chimney need to be so they've got some diagrams here so the basic code is two feet higher than anything 10 feet away. So usually on your roof, the peak is going to be the thing that's either 10 feet away from your chimney or farther or closer than 10 feet. So if your chimney is less than 10 feet, okay, from the peak, you need to be two feet higher than the peak of the roof, okay? All right, one last thing really quick. Uh, this is my home and I installed this uh, support box and uh, chimney pipe in my house. And you can see I do have a vaulted ceiling. It's not flat. Um, basically the same process. Just uh, trim it out with two by fours. And you wanna make sure your box is level and square. And the only other thing is with that connector pipe you want to make sure the edge of that pipe is at least 12 inches from a combustible wall and you can see my wall here I don't have anything on the wall um, right now I've got I've got to build a hearth still I'm gonna put down some slate and uh, you know then I'll run the uh, black stove pipe up to the chimney so let me take you outside and I'll show you I'll show you the outside of the chimney how that looks on the roof and I'm about four feet coming out of my roof but it's a really pretty pretty flat pit I mean not not very much pitch but if you look close you can see I've also strapped the chimney um, we get some wind every once in a while, so it's good to have it all secured. And that's what the storm collar looks like. You can see that's all sealed up with silicone. So that's what it looks like on your roof. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just send me a you know little note, and I'll respond. Thank you.